The entire novel started for me with a single image that I got when I was reading John Hersey's remarkable account, Hiroshima. He was the first American journalist in Hiroshima after the bomb. And among all the horrible details he had there, there was one that women who were wearing white kimonos with dark patterns on them, when the bomb exploded, the heat from it, the white of the kimono would reflect the heat off the skin, but the dark patterns would draw the heat in. So a lot of women ended up with the kimono patterns on their skin. And I read this and I just had an image in my head of a woman wearing a white kimono with dark birds on it. Um, and after the bomb, she ends up with these horrible charred tattoos of burns, uh, of birds across her back. And the birds were cranes. Cranes are particularly symbolic birds. They are very symbolic of all kinds of things, including life. And I thought just the idea of having this, what should have been this really rather lovely pattern of, of life and birth and, and possibility, of having to carry that around your back in this charred and disfigured way where the whole image is getting turned around and becomes about awfulness and death. I thought there was something very powerful in that.